Hello and welcome to a day of filming over a few different days. We've got charity shops, we've got sales, we've got all sorts. But first of all, let me just show you when I nipped into the charity shop yesterday. Oh my goodness. Quick little stop in. First of all, how cool is that? <laughs> and then these. I've never heard of them before. Bluebird still. What size are that? I'm not looking here yet. Nah, it's old, but nah. Let's not forget that. Just the gift that keeps on giving that charity shop. So fake, such a scam. I thought I'd better film this bit because I want to get want to get it listed. So as you saw, I went into the charity shop and just sitting there with these Lucy Lockett play sets. Got a small purple one and this big pink one. Believe it or not, this one seems to be the most rarest. Two, three to seven hundred pound if new. Unfortunately, of course. It's not complete and it does have got damages and pieces missing. So go lower. Yeah. So in here, I mean the door does reattach. But in here, the sofa bed is supposed to have a piece that pulls out, and there's some stairs that go here, which are obviously not there. And things like stickers missing just there. So what I am gonna do with the pieces that were in it that do come from it, I've managed to figure out that out of all the pieces that are here loose, only these come with it. Two shoes, some carrots, and some flea spray. So I'll sell them separately. <sighs> I just sneeze. I've just noticed something else is missing as well. There's obviously something missing from around this pond as well. So it's not in the best condition at all. If all those pieces would come out, I'd part it out but I can't be bothered. So I'm going to sell that as it is, starting bids, 9 99 Just let it, let, it, let it run. And then this one here is in much better condition regarding things missing. There is something, I'll, I'll do the research and get the pictures of what it looks like. There's something missing from here. Jesus Christ. Something missing from there. I can see the snapped bits. And I think there is a door missing from the washing machine. But other than that, everything else seems to be there. There are three coat hangers in the wardrobe, which come with it. And from 1992, so that matches up that one. That was actually in this one. This one's from 95, that's from 92. The doll's from 92, so I'm guessing it's part of that. Or they might have just been slapping in 92 dolls into the 95 because they already had it. And a bunch of like little accessories. Oh, that brush, I just realised that. Brush got a pour on it, so that's going to be for the pet corner. The purple one's called Pretty Pets Corner. Pots and pans and whatever else. Same with that. I think I'm just going to start and bid it 9 99 That one's not worth as much. But I think I'm going to take all the parts out of it, the coat hangers, all that kind of stuff, and sell all that separately. Because why not? If it was a complete set, I would have put it all together. It's not. There's damages. Might as well maximise the way that I can. Gave aid of the bath bomb. And I also picked this up. 2004, you stick him onto the table up there, like it just hangs there. Great, I love stuff like that. And so do collectors. Memory died, memory died. I've been doing loads of videos recently, forgetting to empty the folders. See, I think I said in a previous video clip, even though you've seen it in the shop, it was five pounds for the big one and three pounds 50 for the smaller one. I'm just gonna separate them all out and sell them that way. I'm not sure, but I think it died on the Spider-Man clip. But yeah, not a bad little run, was it? I've actually had a few sales as well, so I want to give a quick shout out again while I'm here. I might as well do these because I'm here. So Dan and Shell, they've both picked up, well, Shell picked it up, but I'm sure Dan's got a part to play in this. The Jelly Cat Bunny does have a little mark on his foot, unfortunately. It's a Slackerjack Bunny, 16 centimetres, I think. I can't remember what it, what it, wait, I was going to say weighed at, what it measured at. Sold to like 25 to 28. I said to Shell, you can have it for 15 pounds. So really appreciate the purchase, guys. You look after me, don't you, you two? Quality people, pair of you. And Mark has picked up two more games for me. He's picked up the Gumshoe and the, I can't remember what it is now, parachute -y thing, parasols, maybe, carts for £40 for the pair. Done the deal there as well. So Mark, really appreciate you as well, my man. He's the chap that bought the SNES, if anybody remembers that. He bought the box SNES from me. 
it's taken him probably a week for me to find these games. So sorry, mate. I'm so sorry. Crocs that I paid eight pound for, I've sold for sixteen, I think, on Vinted. So that's a nice little double up there. I don't think they watch the channel. I think they're just bargain hunters, and bargain hunting is what they did. I'll insert this clip somewhere. I think I'm going to be filming over a couple of days again anyway, so this might make sense. I don't know. I said I was going, but I've got a couple more orders to go through. It's been about half an hour since, as you can see. I've processed and listed the Polly Pocket, Lucy Pockets, whatever they're called. There's lots of damages, lots of pieces missing. So I'm going to offer them out. Still quite cheap, but also enough to make profit. I've listed the bottom one for $39.99. I've had an offer come through already for $35 and I've accepted it if they pay. Sweet. And the top one, which is a lot more expensive, especially if complete. Again, things are still broken. I think I've listed it for $55.71 or something crazy like that. Something like that. Obviously, I'll accept offers on, on both, whatever. They owe me five plus three fifty, eight fifty, for the for the lot. So I'm here to make profit. I don't need to squeeze every last penny out. So if I can get them gone, happy days. Somebody's got to put work in. Somebody might have a donor piece where they've got things which are missing from that and that, and they'll just put. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to sit around on stuff. You know me. But anyway, as I was on Vinted, I realised I've had another sale today that I haven't mentioned. So I'm going to put that in here as well. Otherwise, we're just going to lose track. So for a grand total of £20, we have sold the Chucky bag, the Howard money box, and the vintage Connect 4 travel from, I think it's 84, something like that. And they have gone to Fur and Fangs. Fur and Fangs have picked up a couple of things for me now. They've both watched the channel. I really appreciate you both where the little chat about going out and getting stuff and where we can go and things like that. And I mentioned that Vint sourcing from Vinted, especially if you can find many sellers like me, is quite fruitful because... All we care about is making profit and turning over. Some people who care about making profit and turning over, but they want the maximum profit, you're not going to get it, do you know what I mean? But I'm quite malleable. But anyway, Fur and Fangs, massively appreciate your purchase. They'll be on their way to you shortly as well. Let me check eBay first before I disappear again. Sold, they've just looked, they've just literally, and they've just paid £35. So listed, bought, listed and sold the same day, cheaply, more in profit. The other one can go for whatever it goes for now. Beautiful. Um, any more sales on eBay before I go anywhere? I am absolutely hating the new eBay app. They've got a switching button now. Hate it. Uh, box E. Another from The Puppet Company. This is the troll from Billy Goat's Gruff. La, 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 la. Sold for £12.99. All in. Beautiful. And I'm so glad that sold. That's quick. Here we go. So with this one, I included the doll and all the pieces that come with it. The plates the pans, whatever else, the coat hangers. So this person might well be looking to split it all out and sell it out individually and maximise on the profit. I'm not fussed about that. So whoever bought it, fair play. If you left me a note, I'll find it after this and I'll put it back. Let me check just in case. Uh, just in case you are a known buyer. No, I don't think so. Just a purchaser. Just as important anyway. But there we go. Nice and easy. I bought this about an hour and a half ago. I've been home, got excited about all the prices because obviously they're the ones quite rare and they sell for really much, really much. They sell for a lot, but condition and what comes with it is massively dependent on that. So I'm happy to turn around. Just got to move this one now. Can't imagine that's going to hang around too long either. Maybe this person will look at the page and see that I've got that one and buy that as well. <laughs> Beautiful. Just going to slip this in because I think I might have got a bit excited about those Polly Pocket things, Lucy Lockets, whatever they are, and didn't talk about this. So I paid £3.50 for this one. There we go. It's by a company called Horseware Ireland. W-A-R-E is in like items, horse items. It's a cap. Just a cap. Brand new. Never used. Saw a premium one sell for £15. So I thought, new with the tags, I'll pick that up for three and a half quid. No bother. Maybe I've showed it. If I have, I'm not going to put this in. In fact, yeah, we'll put it in anyway. I'm just packing away, ready to go and finish for the day. It's what, half five, something like that, quarter past five. But I've got another sale come through. Blimp Vintage, massively appreciate this one. They picked up the Carhartt Brian shirt. Picked it up for myself, but it's one size too small. Really, really, really nice shirt. Double zip on the front, checkered with nice little, oh, it's just a lovely shirt. But on that weird size, I'm not an XL, double XL. Some things are large, some things are not. Just a little bit too small for me. But I really appreciate it. Please go check out the page if you haven't already on its way to you shortly. Oh yeah, £25 all in. I've packed up the Lucy and a few other different bits of pieces there as well. I'm just tidying them. I haven't tidied up. This place is getting dirty again already from the other day. And we're back in the room. 
Yesterday was absolutely manic. I love days like that, especially when you can buy it, sort it, list it, sell it in the same day. Fantastic. Got the bag down there ready to go and take it to the parcel shop in a minute. It is only 9.36 at the moment. What most of you don't realise is a lot of my videos, my talking head parts, are filmed quite early in the day. Quite early, in fact. Sometimes I get two or three videos out a day. I've noticed a few people in the scene are now doing daily or mostly daily videos as well. So I'm glad to have been some kind of inspiration for that. And I am going to take some credit for that. I said on Tam and Bell's video, my goal is to get the reselling community thriving again with videos. Just flood the place with videos. Because they did die off for a while from everyone, including myself. Although I've never really been massively consistent. I used to be a one, two a month kind of guy. But it is the next day, which means we do have a couple more sales that I'd like to go through now. Now, this lady has decided to go reselling full time and has opened a dedicated reselling page as well. Hayley resells on Instagram. She has picked this up. Well, she reached out and spoke about buying this one. Her husband would like it from one of my recent car boot videos. It is the Weird Fish Quarter Zip Jumper. Really nice, actually. Size medium. I'm not really a blue kind of guy, but if I was to wear any kind of blue, it would be this kind of blue. Do you know what I mean? Dabba dee dabba die. I can't remember what I said now because they haven't paid yet. We've organised a sale, but they're paying me later on today. I can't remember if it was... Why are you mowing the lawn right now? Council are mowing the lawn. Can't argue, really. Some tax dollars going towards it, I suppose. But I think we agreed 15 or 20, I can't remember, but it's going to be like about, it's going to be about 15 quid minimum. Paid £5 for two of these, so that's fantastic. Hayley, thank you ever so much. Thank your husband as well. Really appreciate him. Of course, he's the one picking it up. And good luck on your reselling journey. The beginning is always very exciting. And can be scary, so don't let that daunt you. Daunt you? <laughs> Next sale now on Vinted for £3. This owes me £1 from a car boot sale. When I got home, I realised that eBay sales was not strong enough to be worth listing this too much. So I put it on Vinted. It's been there for ages. But Kimmy and Reese have seen this. They reached out and said that they've seen the... Let me just read the message. Hi, Ricky. Amazing to grab something from you. Me and my hubby, Reese are subscribers and love watching you. We can't wait to enjoy our puzzle. So I really appreciate the pair of you two now. This is going to be on its way to you today. I'm going to get this packed up and get it out the door. You're going to get a notification very soon. Quick, rapid, like a red arrow. Is that a red arrow? Yeah. I'm such a dick. Jelly cat, I've showed you that. Carhartt jacket, I've showed you that. Oh, I've got a nice little sale here now, but I did mess up. He doesn't know that I messed up. So he's going to find out now. So I'm not going to tell him my message. I'm just going to let him see the video first. So Kieran's brought a few things off me now recently. Kieran O'Toole, I'll put his Instagram up here. I think it's an open account. I think he does his reselling from it. Can't remember, but I'm going to stick it up anyway. If not, don't pester him. But do you remember the Kenzo jumper that I picked up? A little while ago for a fiver. Had that listed for about 55, I think, something like that. But he also messaged me about the Burberry scarf. I said, Ricky, what's the best you're doing that? I messaged him and said, £30, how's that sound? Obviously, I was more polite than that. And his message just read after that, would you do the Kenzo 2 for 50 quid for my son? And I was like, yeah, sound nice. Little £80 bundle there, we'll do that. So I said, of course. Then we had a little bit more messaging back and forward and I realised it transpired that he was asking me for both of them for 50 quid. Now, at this point, I've already said, yes, I'm not going to go back on myself. If it was a two grand difference, I would, of course. But we're talking like 30 quid on items that owe me like six pound. So it twigged on me. It dawned on me. I said, oh, so you don't want the scarf as well then? And it was like, yeah. I was like, oh, that's when I realised. So Kieran doesn't realise this, but I unwillingly, mistakenly, agreed to sell the Kenzo top and the Burberry scarf. For £50 the pair, all in. So I've got to pay postage as well. <laughs> but listen, resellers, we are in the position to be able to do that. Don't get attached to your stuff. It's a lesson I learned quite hard early on in the beginning. Yes, I could probably get 30 to 40, maybe even pushing 50 to this in the summer. Or the winter even. Mm -hmm. And this Kenzo top, if I'd have put it out on eBay, I probably could have got 80 for that alone. But let's be real now. Let's be realistic. One pound... Five pound, six pounds, fifty pounds minus postage, it's gonna be about four quid. We're paying, we're not paying pennies, but the expression still works. We're paying pennies and selling for pounds. 
if you're in the position to and okay with listing things for exact market value and waiting for the sale when you're competing with all the others this one might need to sell first before your one gets bumped up and then someone lists one a bit cheaper so yours gets bumped down again you're constantly doing this why not just go straight into the market here be cheaper straight away that's just my advice so kieran that's going to be on its way to you shortly as well my man i think i'm going to leave that video there because we've got so much chopped in we've got days of this days of that whatever else i'm pretty sure that's it i am pretty sure that's it let me just slip this in as well we've sold the luigi from the amiibo bundle for 10 pounds all in so i've sold one for 12 pounds one for 10 pounds i paid 23 for them all i've got 23 of them 22 pound in sales so far minus fees and postage a couple more and we're into profitsville baby Whee! Uh, don't go anywhere one more to add it came through in the last 10 minutes donkey kong from the amiibo bundle has sold for 13 pounds and 42 pence over on ebay so we are now officially into profitsville and i have 20 left beautiful stuff yeah 942 we're done and they're being so freaking noisy out there. Before I do go anywhere though, I would just like to bring some attention to the Q4 after party coming up in January in Manchester Burnage Rugby Club. Organised by Jess, aka Mouldy Cow on Instagram. They did one last year and had a nice little reception. We're hoping to get a few more this year. I say we, I'm part of the group, aren't I? I've made the poster for them and we're all, we're all one big family. But there is a poster on my Instagram page that you'll be able to go and see. There will be links to that as well. So you can click the link and find out exactly how much things are and what's going on, how much the tickets are. It's going to be a fantastic evening. And I'm really, really hoping to be able to get myself there this year. I didn't go last year. Ada, I'm doing my work, darling. I'll be in in a minute. So go check my Instagram and Mouldy Cow's Instagram. You'll be able to find the links there for the Eventbrite with all the details on. And hopefully I'll be there. And if I am, I'll see you there. Take care, everyone. Bye. Right, let's just crack on with today.